Hello, everyone. Today's poem is "Du Hanjiang" by Song Zhiwen. Song Zhiwen is the most famous poet during the early Tang period, and、uh, he's such a genius that he passed the imperial exam in his nineteen. That's Extremely extraordinary behavior, and、uh, he also he's a tall、uh, person with very handsome lookings. So this gives him a lot of the advantage for his imperial exam as well. And、uh, also this、uh, personality or his outlooks. Also gave him some advantage in his late career. During the time, the emperor is the first Chinese female emperor in the history. Wu Zetian. She appreciated the scholars who write、uh, good articles and poems very much. And also, she like、uh, nice-looking, handsome boys. So that's the two、uh, personal favorite、uh, we know today, and it's recorded in the history book. It's not rumors.、Uh, thus, Song、uh, was promoted very quickly, and he was appreciated by the. Uh, female emperor Wu Zetian very much. Yet when the female emperor gave his throne to the Li family, who founded the Tang Dynasty,、uh, the people who followed Wu Zetian, the female emperor, of course lost their power, and uh, some uh, was punished. By the new emperor, like Song Zhiwen, so he was abandoned to the place. Uh, today, uh, it belongs to Canton Province, and in the Tang Dynasty, was called Lingnan, the south of a big mountain. So that mountain is in the north Canton Province. Go from Uh, east to the west, so anyone from the inner land of China went to the most、uh, remote places in Canton. They should cross, climb up these big mountains.、Uh, so that also was a signature、uh, boundary between the developed area、uh, to undeveloped. Uh, undeveloped area in the Canton Province in the Tang Dynasty. The title of this poem, "Du Hanjiang," means "Cross the Han River." The Han River is a very famous river. We know it, and also the Han people.、Uh, the name is comes from this river's name. There's no record where Song Zhiwen. Cross the Han River in this trip. Anyhow, we can、uh, refer to the history books、uh, how the official route between north and south between the capital to some of the remote frontier、uh, regions. And、uh, from this map,、uh, we can figure out that most probably Song Zhiwen. Uh, cross the Han River at the place of Xiangyang. After crossing the Han River, Song Zhiwen would enter the Kou area of the Tang Dynasty, where surrounded the capitals, where is also his hometowns. So the foods, the climates, the speaking accent, is all the thing he's so familiar with. Yet he didn't. Uh, feel it,、uh, eat it, or hear it for more than a year since he was abandoned 
to the Canton Province. Abandoned to Canton Province is a big punishment. We can see that from another poem written by a Tang poet. 一去一万里，千支千不还。崖州在何处？声渡鬼门关。So not only the distance so far is ten thousand miles away from the capital city, from my hometown,、uh, and also it's just like to go、uh, through the gate of the inferno, which means he's entering to the place of inferno, lively. So that's、uh, the common sense or normal feelings for a typical Tang people、uh, when he、uh, was abandoned to the Canton Province. So all in all, Song Zhong was abandoned to a very undeveloped area, a very bad place, and he came back to the capital city, to his hometown. Secretly, perhaps it could be also a crime, either, and、uh, he's feeling the smiles of his hometown, the food, the climate, the speakings, everything, and、uh, with such、uh, feeling and emotions, he crossed the Han River. Du Hanjiang, Song Zhiwen. 岭外音书断，京东复立春。近乡情更切，不敢问来人。A very simple poem. Du Hanjiang crossed the Han River, most probably at the place of Xiangyang City. 岭外音书断。Ling Wai refers to the place where he was abandoned, somewhere in Canton Province today, and at this most remote and primitive place, there's no letters, no letters from my previous colleagues, no letters from my、uh, relatives. Jing Dong Fu Li Chun, I've been through the winter season. Again, I. Went through the spring as well. So this sentence actually points out he has at least stayed in Canton Province for half a year, and also this also could be an explanation to the first sentences because in the first sentence he said there's no letters, and、uh, I don't think his relative, his colleagues didn't write wrote to him, but. Because this place so remote, the letters、uh, wrote by his family members, by his colleagues, still on the way to the Canton Province where he lived, it still didn't get to the place yet. So that's also reflected how remote this place、uh, it is, and also from the word "full." Uh, again, it can reveal the very, very sad mood of the poet of that time, because、uh, it, when when you lead、uh, through the seasons, the spring is hot, winter is quite natural things, but he's just like counting there. Oh, I have been through the winter. Wow! Again, I had I had to go through the spring. Everything is a、uh, terrible、uh, enduring. Everything is a terrible disasters for him. So we can reading the emotion feelings from the word used in these two sentences. It's so remote, no letters.、Uh, it takes so many times. The letters still didn't come here, and also I had. Uh, go through one season by another season, very slowly, very enduring. 近乡情更切，不敢问来人 Very simple sentences, but we need to feel the real emotion, the feelings the poet try to express. 
So the closer to the countryside, to my hometowns, my emotion and my feelings is more afraid of. So what makes him afraid of? Just imagine, he's on a secret, private、uh, trip back to Luoyang City. It could be a crime, and、uh, he didn't receive the letters from his families, from his relatives. He was afraid some bad things may might be heard. No news is good news. They are telling the same things. He don't want heard the news, he, because he is of so afraid anything has changed, and also because he was abandoned. Maybe something bad is more probably happened to families, and he still has not、uh, no idea of it. Of it. 不敢问来人 ，so this tells the、uh, bring you to the some place at the fort of Hanjiang. He just crossed the、uh, river by boat, and there's、uh, peoples coming back and forth because that 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 place, the fort, is a very busy place, and he heard the language with his home.、Uh, Accent, and he feel the atmosphere just like the capital,、uh, more like capital and like his hometown, and、uh, he don't dare to ask anything to the people around or the people from the north. Where is the capital、uh, at? Where is hometown at? 不敢问来人啊，嘿，嘿。I dare not to ask the people from the capital city, from my hometown. Okay, this is a very simple poem. It reflects the very common emotion and the situations、uh, that almost everybody could have in his life. He went left. His hometown or some some places is so familiar with, and ye- some years later, when he came back, the feeling, the subtle feeling, uh, the uh, th- the afraid of something. He's always afraid of something because no news is good news. So that's very precisely and、uh, very vividly describe that scenario. So that's the reason this poem、uh, became very popular and famous till today, because Song Zhiwen is quite famous during the time. Anyhow,、uh, his personality、uh, is not so well, and、uh, finally everybody don't like him or condemn him because. Because of his personalities, there's a, a, a long stories about that. I won't mention that. Anyhow, but this poem、uh, reflect the true feelings、uh, of that point of time of Song Zhiwen, and also this feeling is so common shared with almost everybody, and、uh, he depict that feeling and emotion. Uh, emotion sings perfectly. Okay, that's for today. Bye bye.